Hi there. Once you've downloaded your presets, easy spin in out and easy zoom in out, you're going to have them in your folder. Now, the way to import them is to go to your effects tab, open your presets, right click on them and import presets and then go to where you have them installed on your computer and then just select them and open them. Now, I'm not going to do that because I've already done it, but the way to apply the effects is as follows. Before you do that, you need to make sure that all your videos are the same settings as the timeline. Otherwise, you'll get some strange effects. Uh, for example, this shot is in 4K, whereas my composition is in 1920 by 1080. So to fix that, I'm just going to nest it. Now I'm not going to encounter any problems in the future. So with the first effect, before I apply it, I'm going to go to where the two video clips intersect and I'm just going to hold shift and the left arrow twice and I'm just going to cut that and I'm going to do the same to the other side and I'm going to cut that and I'm going to apply the easy zoom in preset and then the easy zoom out preset. Now that's pretty much as simple as it can get. If you wanted to edit it a little bit, you can open the transform values and open the scale value. You have it all right here. Now, if you wanted to extend the effect a little bit, all you have to do is grab your rolling edit tool, kind of drag it out a little bit, select your video again, and then you can adjust the uh, time of the keyframe. And you can do that with the other one as well. Now, if you wanted to kind of blend these two effects a little more, uh, I'm going to right click between the two videos and I'm going to apply default transition. And it's basically just going to be a crossfade. And I'm just going to have it for probably one or two frames. Um, that way it doesn't get too exaggerated and it just looks pretty good. It just blends the effect a little more, just like that. Now with the easy spin, it's very similar, except you have to create a uh, new adjustment layer. And I'm just going to drag that on top. And I'm just going to trim it down a little bit. And I'm going to zoom in so I can see what I'm doing. But between the two clips, I'm going to hold shift and the left arrow twice. I'm going to trim the adjustment layer down and I'm going to do it again on the other side. And kind of just get an idea of how long your effect is going to take. Uh, it's probably going to be different for you. Maybe it's going to be the same. And just depending on what you want. Now I'm going to hold alt and drag up the adjustment layer so I can create a duplicate. Now what I'm going to do is go to my effects tab. Open the easy spin in preset, drag it onto my top layer and then drag it out onto my bottom layer. And it's very simple. That's all you have to do if you want the basic effect. Now, if you wanted to perfect the effect a little more, you can open the transform values, open the rotation values and your keyframes are right here. You can adjust the time that it takes. You can also adjust the rotation direction. So for example, if I go to the last keyframe on here, I can do negative 360 degrees and it's going to rotate in the opposite direction. Now do keep in mind that uh, when you change these parameters around, you got to be very careful because if you get a negative number here, it's going to start doing some strange things. It's going to go two different directions before the effect finishes. So if you ever wanted to play around with these, just do it with caution. Um, but that's pretty much the basic settings of it. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And remember, learn, film, repeat. Until next time, keep smiling, keep shooting.